News Up Sport. A change of coach and captain, yes, but no change of results for the Silver Ferns as they fell 52-39 to England in Auckland this evening. On five days preparation under Noling Tauroa and new captain Laura Langman, the Ferns were put under a lot of pressure by the Commonwealth Games champions. Yeah, lovely rebound position from Jane Watson. Yeah, nice drive from Langman, that's what we want to see, her speed through the middle and her vision. Now this is starting to feel like an England-New Zealand test match. The Ferns trailed by just one at half time, 22-21, though turnovers hurt them when it really mattered. Oh, beautifully red mentor. The England Roses pulling clear to win by 13 goals, their biggest ever victory over New Zealand. Well, watching the action at Spark Arena this evening is Christina Eddy. And Christina, promising signs early on, but the Silver Ferns, they just couldn't keep up with the Commonwealth champions. Yeah, that's exactly right, Nikki. I mean, England was simply just too strong tonight. But here to talk with me more about it is new coach Nolene Todor. Nolene, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. You said earlier in the week you had to be realistic about tonight, but how did you assess that performance? Oh, look, I thought um, for parts of the match we were actually not too bad, but uh, realistically it all capitulated in that last quarter. Um, score, score line is uh, not favourable and probably um, I haven't seen that score line for a very long time, but uh, it's a starting point for us. Very clear areas that we need to work on and improve. Um, we've got a couple of days uh, to go before we hit uh, South Africa. Well, you had to make a bit of a defensive shake-up earlier on in the week. How did you think their performance was tonight? Yeah, sure. I thought they did quite well. I thought we got a lot of hand to ball. They were hustling. Um, we had a height deficit. But I thought um, we turned over a lot of ball, and unfortunately we weren't able to execute and put the ball through the hoop on the other end. You've got a couple of days now to, to get things sorted before South Africa. Do you, are you making changes to the starting lineup? Um, I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of learnings coming out of this. Um, I was quite happy with the um, second quarter in particular where some of the players I just left those combinations on. So sometimes, unfortunately, you have to learn the hard way um, and we'll go back and reflect as to what combinations we need to set ourselves up better uh, for South Africa. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. And all the best for the rest of the quad series. You're welcome. Well, Nikki, they've got a few days to turn it around um, before they take on South Africa in Tauranga. Christina, thank you. Well, if there's one area the Springboks feel they can match the All Blacks in Wellington tonight,